effective. When the attorney general makes a decision to order or direct the director of public prosecution to do something, he or she is not doing it as the minister of justice. Is that true? It's the attorney general that only has the power to be able to ask the director of public prosecutions or director to proceed with one of these remediation agreements. Yeah, that's certainly my understanding. That's correct. So yeah. for the entire period of time post September 4th, when the director of public prosecutions made her decision, you could only have conversations with the hat of the attorney general on your head. You were not the minister of justice or one would not be the minister of justice I, on that I, topic. I can't speculate because I wasn't party to any of those conversations. Well, I, I think it's appropriate. And I also think that it's also appropriate that we look at the Shawcross principle, as you've pointed out, and the Shawcross principle says very clearly that it's not necessarily to be pressure from the prime minister, doesn't have to be subtle, doesn't have to be heavy. Any communication from the prime minister to the attorney general could be perceived as an attempt to influence her decision, improper interference, because she's only the attorney general. Is that not true? That is not how I would interpret the Shawcross principle uh, as, as it, it attempting to influence is something that you do as an MP, that I do as an MP, that our constituents do to us as MPs. Uh, it, it's part of what we do around so the cabinet table. Sure. It's what we're part of. So, so in, attempting to influence is something me, that is part it of our, is me, part of the, no, let me answer the question. You have it's part of the it, DNA of our political opinion. process. Um, the question in Shawcross, in the quote that you raise, is is pressure um and that is a is a subjective determination like we can't talk about that without knowing the facts so with respect when acting as the attorney general and choosing not to direct the director of public prosecutions snc lavalin in going to lobby the prime minister's office or other cabinet ministers or indeed the clerk of the privy council is going to those places in order to try and convince the prime minister to ask the attorney general to change her mind. Is that not the case? I can't, I can't speculate on that. I'm not privy to those conversations. That's you, not you a should, conversation. That's, not, that that's how power, that, that's, I think that's a fair assumption that one can draw. Don't you think that's a fair assumption? I'm, one not, can draw? I'm not willing to draw any assumptions about conversations. So only the attorney general can make the decision SNC-Lavalin decides that they're going to lobby at the highest level in the country. Presumably, it's because they want the prime minister to change her mind. Isn't that not? Can we not draw that assumption for the September 17th I meeting? Think, I, think it, I think I was not privy. I know I was not privy to those conversations, and I think it would be unwise. Well, one conversation to, to, you to were privy to, kind of, uh, Mr. Lametti, was um, I remember the first time the prime minister asked me to be in cabinet. I'm sure you remember that. It would be a momentous occasion. In that conversation with the prime minister, did he mention the issues with respect to SNC-Lavalin and the difficulties that he was facing? He did not. Can you tell me, Mr. Lametti, whether or not that issue had been shared with you prior to you becoming the Minister of Justice and the Attorney General? I've already said that. Can you answer it again for me, please? Yes, I, I did not. I, I had a general knowledge. I believe you asked me this in the House of Commons. Uh, I had a general knowledge of this as a Montreal MP uh, of the issue. So, Mr. Lametti, yeah, Global Mail's reporting that there's a cabinet meeting. I'm not gonna ask you about the contents of the cabinet meeting. It's more of a hypothetical. Pretend you're the attorney general as you are. You're sitting in a cabinet meeting where a former attorney general alleges that there was improper influence on her at that time. As the current attorney general, do you have an obligation to resign? I am going to uh, rely on cabinet conference, uh, con uh, cabinet- Not asking about what happened, but in order to uphold the justice in the you're, country, you're the time, do you not the time have an obligation is, uh, to resign? Ms. Wright, the time has exceeded. I'll give Mr. Lemony a chance to answer the question, and then we'll move to the next questioner. Mr. I can't answer that question as a result of cabinet confidentiality, on the basis of cabinet confidentiality. 